Hi, so I posted on my channel recently a little Christmas stocking I'd made for a dog. It was a, in the shape of a dog bone. And somebody commented that, could I show how I designed it in canvas? Now, it's just basic shapes, basically, and I've shown in lots of videos how to weld basic shapes together to create another shape. But I'll just run through quickly how I designed it. I'm I'm not going to do specific measurements, I'm just going to show you roughly what I did in Canvas to create that project. So, starting with the basic shapes, I started with a circle. I didn't adjust the size at all, and with it selected, I created a duplicate, and I just overlapped it slightly. I selected both, and then I aligned them along the bottom edges. It doesn't matter whether you align them along the top or the bottom, so long as they're aligned together and then I came over here into the basic shapes and I chose a rectangle. Now I didn't want the rectangle to be the total width of these two circles so I placed it just inside here and then I stretched it out so it was still within this circle but not overlapping. If you have a look here you can see it doesn't overlap the outside edges, it sits within it. And then I just shrunk it down and I think I made it about a half an inch, something like that. It's not vital at this moment in time. And then I'm just going to bring it down. Might make it a little bit more than half an inch actually. So if I just go back to the map. So basically, that's what I've got. Um, I selected the two circles and made them a group. And then I selected the rectangle and this group of circles and I centred them just so that this rectangle sits centrally to the circles. And with everything selected, I went to edit and weld. And that became one end of the dog bone. Now, what I did do is get rid of this bit in the middle here. Now, you can try using the divide and see if it separates, and it doesn't. So, the way that I did it was just took a shape, made it smaller, but as long as it fits over that triangle in the middle there that I don't need, selected both and went edit and weld, and that gets rid of that bit that I didn't want. So, then I created a duplicate of this and holding the shift key down I rotated it and then I literally just dragged it down to the bottom of the map put the other one at the top keeping it within the red bounding box and then I got myself a rectangle and I knew that I wasn't going to join these by overlapping them I knew that I wanted to join them just by putting them flush together and using a zigzag so I literally just dragged the shape out. Now, I can't measure the exact width of this because it'll measure from circle to circle. So what I did do, I zoomed in and I positioned and aligned them up so that the edges line up here. And then I just dragged the other one out to make it the same width. I'll just go back to fit to mat. So that became a basic shape. So I'll just colour these in so you can see. So I think I ended up doing this top bit in green. So I'll make these two bits green and the middle bit I did in red. So I'll do them all colour coded so you can hopefully see what it looks like. So they became the front. So this bit I sewed to this bit here with a zigzag and the same here. But then I needed to make the back section. And I knew that I wanted to make the back section a kind of like a, an envelope style cushion. So I selected one of these top halves and created a duplicate and just lined it up next to it. Selected both and aligned them up along either the top or the bottom edge. It doesn't really matter. Just so long as these two line up. And then from here... I, on this one, I double clicked to expose the nodes and then I just dragged this node down 
until it passed halfway of this red rectangle, if that makes sense. And then I grabbed the other side and dragged it down. So trying to keep these straight. So that I'll just colour this all in red because that's what the colour of the back piece was. So if I line that up now, you can see it comes to more than past the middle of this. And that's what I need because I need another one which I'm going to duplicate, rotate it by holding the shift key down and when I place that one over, these two bigger red section now overlap and that became like my, my envelope style cushion for the back of the dog bone. Now originally I was going to sew them all together and not turn it right side out because I was cutting it in felt. But when I started to sew it together, I put the hanging cord on the inside. So rather than have to unpick it all and turn it round, I just sewed it all together and turned it right side out. But basically, that's how I made the shape. So the red pieces I, I cut out of red felt and the green pieces I cut out of green felt. I just gave the project a name, saved it and downloaded it. So for the person that asked how did I go about designing it all in canvas, that's how I did it. Obviously just make sure that everything sits within the red bounding box before you download it or else it'll tell you you can't download it because things extend beyond the cutting mat. Well that's how I did it anyway. So I hope that helped. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And by giving the video a thumbs up, it just helps more people see my videos on YouTube. So it does help my channel and it gets more people to be able to see the projects. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.